Greetings, saints, in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach. It's so lovely to be here again. Welcome, welcome. This is Sister Melissa to Daily Declaration number three. How many of you are enjoying these daily declarations? Really short, inspiring, you know, messages. If you love it, just give it a heart. Give this video a like. Give it a thumbs up. You know, put, post a heart in the comment. That will be really, really nice. And today we're going to talk about the topic, the daily declaration for today is to be prepared for what's about to come. You need to do this. This is one thing that you need to do in order to be prepared for what's about to come because we all can anticipate, you know, by the scripture, we know what's about to happen, but we can also anticipate based on what we are seeing because we are watchers, right? We call to watch and we see it's a time of wars and rumors of wars, as, as the scripture has said, the famine that's taking place. CNN doesn't always play it on the news, but when you Google and you research certain things, you're surprised to see about the certain pestilences and famine and different things that are occurring in different parts of the world, the earthquakes, you know. And another thing that's about to come, and I feel this very strongly, is another, another hike, I, could, I should say, in food prices. Now, this is something that has happened worldwide, especially here in the UK. We've had food items that doubled, tripled, and even quadrupled the price seriously i mean like seriously things that were like 46 pence before um you would i would get a, a ketchup a bottle of ketchup here that used to be 46 pence at the little supermarket one of the supermarkets here and it's 99 pence today you get a bottle of, of mayonnaise that used to just be 49 pence and it's a pound today um i would get tuna and tuna is four times the price today you know chicken Chicken is like three times the price it used to be where you, you get um, a certain portion of chicken. And it, it's crazy. But there will be another rise, another hike in food prices that is coming. Because remember, the scripture says a measure of wheat for a penny. It's coming. It's coming again. The deg degradation of our schools and society. If you think it's bad now, you know what we saw last year. And I can't even go into the details because YouTube will strike me and all sorts of nonsense. You can't speak freely on the on this platform, and hopefully we'll be launching our Rumble platform very soon. On that platform, you can feel, you can speak much more freely. But um, when we see some of the things that happened last year in the school system, and some of the abominations that they they were bringing to the eyes of preschoolers and primary schoolers, and some of the really terrible things that primary schoolers have to learn in school. You know, um, it's part of the curriculum. It's it's really disgusting, disgusting stuff. And I'm telling you, if Biden, for instance, wins the election again, the Democrats win again. And I'm not for Democrat or Republican. I'm from the for the kingdom of Elohim. To be quite honest, I used to vote long ago. I don't vote anymore because either side is different corruptions that they all bring in. And we are waiting on the return of our king of kings, our king of kings king over all the earth will be coming again that is what we are waiting for now some would say i'm naive because your vote counts and etc in this world in this world my vote doesn't count because let me tell you something scotland what is scotland or ireland ireland i think i may have it wrong but i think it's ireland try to change the law pass a referendum to redefine the definition of family right and twice and the people said no because they wanted to change a family, the meaning of a family to people living together, right? Just so, um, so anybody could be living together in that house and call it a family. You know, a family is no longer about. I think I think the meaning was to a couple, a married mother and father. I'm not sure, but but the point I want to make is that they're trying to change the law. They're trying to redefine the family. They're trying to redefine man, redefine woman, redefine who is a mother, right? And and the people have said no, but you know what's going to happen? Eventually, they're going to find a way. They will find a loophole in the law to pass it as law. This is what they do. My vote doesn't count. My vote doesn't count at all. Eventually, it's all going to come to the point where we live in a lawless world because the man of sin is without Torah. He's without law. In other words, the man of sin is in opposition to everything that the scripture says. So my vote does not count. 
Where my vote comes is in the kingdom of Elohim. Where your vote really comes is in the kingdom. That's where it, that's what it read. Really comes in the kingdom of Elohim. So the things that are about to happen, the things that are about to take place on the stage of this world right now, in order to be prepared for what's about to happen in 2024, right? The degradation that we're going to see further in 2024. The in and and the the pandemic that is that will come upon us because the WHO is signing a treaty where when they have declared a pandemic, right, they can dictate to the nations what they must do and what they cannot do. And in that new treaty that they're signing, I think it's going to be signed in May. The America has to sign on in May. In that new treaty that they're signing, you will not even be allowed to try alternative medicine. So when they say vaccine, when they say V, it's V. Put that needle in your body. You got to put that needle in your body or else. And I'm telling you, you're going to also find a way where when you refuse the, to put the thing in your body, they will find a way where it's to cut your benefits whether it's to deny you this and deny you that, even probably access your bank account and don't even give you access to your bank accounts. You know, we had a, minister, uh, a politician in America recently where I was suggesting that people who protest on the streets to block their bank accounts. Saints, what's about to come? They're coming to take our freedoms. That is what is about to come. And there is another short video that I want to post, and it's about declaration, but I'm already riled up. You know, there's another short video that I want to post about um, this sen a censorship that is about to come, but there's a terminology. There's a terminology that they use, that they're going to start to use. Misinformation, disinformation, these things have certain meanings. And I'm going to come with a special video on that because that too, something is going to come soon with regards to that. They're going to come to, they're going to try to clamp down on platforms that are so-called misinformation platforms, right? And these are the alternative new channel, news channels that some of us watch where we would get the true news of what's going ahead, going on because they're not playing to the agendas like CNN and Fox News and all those other channels are doing. So in order to be prepared for what's about to come, you need to do this. And what you need to do, saints of Elohim, what you need to do is to build your relationship with the Heavenly Father. It's to build that relationship. It's no more time for passive serving of Yahuwah. No more passive serving. It's time to get active. It's time to seek for his heavenly kingdom as it's written in Matthew eleven twelve, 12. And the key from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven. From the days of John the Baptist. Because from the days of John the Baptist, he began to start preaching about repenting for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repenting. Repenting because that time is coming repenting so from the days of john the baptist until this present time as it was written in matthew the kingdom of heaven suffered violence endured violent assault in the amplified i love how the amplified has it and the violence sees it by force it says as a precious prize sought for a precious prize a share in the heavenly kingdom is sought for with the most ardent zeal and intense exertion a share in the heavenly kingdom is sought for with the most ardent zeal and intense exertion no more passive serving no more lukewarm what did yahusha say to the church i wish that you were cold or hot but thou art lukewarm. He'll spool you out of his mouth. No more lukewarmness. Intense exertion. Ardent zeal. Wake up on the morning. You don't give him two minutes of your time. No. You dedicate special time going on your knees and worshiping him. You dedicate special time studying your scripture. You make time during the day where you take a few minutes. I have to do homeschool during the day. My prayers. Exercise homeschool and work and the kind of work that i do it takes a lot of my time it's intense but i've got to steal that time during the day where i take a little 10 minutes go in a room go on my knees in addition to my morning prayers you've got to make the time add in zeal intense exertion the heavenly father put somebody on your heart find a corner 
intercede for them. Don't go to bed without talking to your heavenly father once again. Your life is a life of prayer, continuous prayer. Men ought always to pray and not to faint, Yahushua said unto us. Add in zeal and intense exertion. No more passiveness. Because you need to work on your relationship with the Heavenly Father. I need to work on my relationship with the Heavenly Father. We need to keep working on our relationship with the Heavenly Father. Draw nigh to Elohim, James 4, 8, and he will draw nigh to you. Draw nigh to him, he draws nigh to you. You draw nigh to him, he draws nigh to you. You draw nigh to him, he draws nigh to you. And you know what? And it is those who build that relationship with him. It is those who, who seek and, 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 and sought, seek, well, I should say seek, not sought for, but seek for that heavenly prize. It is those who make the time and see that the kingdom of Elohim and an everlasting life is a precious prize, who have that understanding and make the time. He is going to be with you. You are the ones he will put under his wings. You are the one in which his eyes will be watchful upon you. Because he said, if you look warm, I'll spoo you out of my mouth. Spoo you out of my mouth. No more lukewarmness. Your declaration today is that I am going to seek my share in the heavenly kingdom with intense exertion and ardent zeal. Intense exertion and ardent zeal. I'm starting today. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing more of it. If I used to read one psalm a day, I'm reading three. If I used to read one chapter a day, I'm reading three, using that as examples. If I used to spend 15 minutes in prayer, I'm spending 30 minutes. If I used to spend, that's what I did in my life. I went up to an hour. And then I went up to 90 minutes. And I'm not doing this saying, I'm talking about how long you pray and that's what matters. No, that is not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is as you draw near unto him, he draws near unto you. And that ardent zeal, that zeal for Elohim, it becomes even stronger and stronger that you want more. That you want more. That you want to immerse yourself in praise. That you want to immerse yourself in worship. That you want to immerse yourself in his word. That you want more. That you shut off the news that are about mind control and programming, that you, shut, put up, that you throw away the celebrity magazines that are living their lifestyle serving Satan. That is your daily declaration today. You know, I love how Colossians 3, 6, 16 says, let the word of Mashiach dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to Yahuwah. So let the word of Mashiach dwell in you. As you, as you build on your relationship with the Heavenly Father, the word of Mashiach, meaning the anointed one, the word of Christ, will dwell richly in you, in all wisdom. And then you're admonishing one another and teaching one another. And you come in with a psalm and you, you have a hymn and you have a spiritual song. That is how your day must go. You're singing those spiritual songs. You're singing those hymns. You, you're reading your psalms. You're reading your scripture. You meet with one another. We're fellowshipping with each other. This is the one thing that you must do for the times that are ahead. You need to build, and I need to build, and continue to build on our relationship with the Heavenly Father. Let us not lapse. Let us not lapse. Let us not become lukewarm. Right? Let us not become lukewarm. Another thing we're going to see a rise of, already we've seen paganism. Paganism repackaged, wrapped in entertainment, wrapped in art, wrapped in films, wrapped in the worldly festivals. Right, we've seen paganism wrapped in, in, in religion and, and forms of worship. A repackaging of paganism that is going to be on the rise because all of this is going to set the stage for the Antichrist. And if, if we don't have our life right with the Heavenly Father, we are exposed. We are exposed. And the worst place to be is to be exposed to your enemy. 
He's your refuge and your fortress. He's your deliverer. But he can only be your refuge and your fortress and your deliverer if you continue and I continue on that straight and narrow path. It's a straight and narrow path. So to be prepared for what's about to come. And it's not about, oh, when it says here with fair mongering saints, let's be real. I see some, you know, fellow Christians typing in chat in certain videos about the fair mongering. This is not about fair mongering. Are you afraid? Am I afraid? Am I afraid? When we look at what's going to happen when the Antichrist and the mark of the beast and all those whose names are not written in the book of life take the mark, what's there to be afraid of? Because all those who take the mark will go to damnation. When you see these things beginning to come to pass, Yahusha said, look up for your redemption, joy of nigh. Do not, do not, that is a trick of Satan. Don't put your eyes on what's happening to be afraid. Put your eyes on what's happening because we call to be watchers. Saints, watch and pray. You put your eyes on what's happening so that you know your redemption, joy of high. And that is why I say, if you build your relationship with your heavenly father, who shall you fear? Yahuwah is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He's the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Do not get stuck in fear mongering. Watch what is coming to pass. Draw nigh unto him. See what is happening. Draw nigh unto him. Do not be afraid. All right? So no more passive serving. No more lukewarmness. Be on fire, ardent zeal and intense exertion. The violent take it by force. Build your relationship with the Heavenly Father. He wants a personal relationship with us. He is our Father. When Yahusha prayed in John chapter 17, Holy Father, He is your Holy Father. Your Holy Father doesn't live in Rome. Your Holy Father lives in the heavens. His throne is in the heavens and the earth is His footstool. Hallelujah. And he cares for you and he cares for me and he cares for all those who are part of his household. We are his sons and his daughters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have a blessed day. Bye for now. By the way, tomorrow night, we're going to be talking about the name that is above all names. Join me live. What time is it tomorrow night? Let me see if I can check the time really quick. I can't even remember what time. <laughs> I can't even remember what time I go live tomorrow. I just have so many things doing. Um, so tomorrow night, bear with me. Let's see. Upcoming at, why does it say the time? Uh, 23.15. So um, yes, 11.15 p.m. UK time. So join me tomorrow night because it's going to be really, really wonderful. And... I, I just can't understand why I'll probably leave that for tomorrow's video. But it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing, amazing. We're going to talk about a name that is given above all names. And this is important for every single saint of Elohim. Because this is the name by which we are guarded. Hallelujah. Have a great day and be blessed. Bye for now.